The president of Paraguay is appealing for calm, but these demonstrators are in no mood to end their protest. They say a secret Senate vote to allow Horacio Cartes to stand for re-election next year is an abuse of power and illegal. I'm here convinced that our constitution is being violated. This paper says resistance and that's what the people are doing. We are going to do it till the end. The vote sparked violent protests. Congress was set on fire. Dozens of people were arrested. A political activist was shot and killed by police who stormed at the headquarters of the Liberal Party. His death was captured on CCTV. Rodrigo Galeano says the police was brutal that night. When the police tried to take the plaza to get protesters out, they left us with no escape. They threw us on the floor and they shot at us with rubber bullets. We were on the floor and we weren't even fighting back. One policeman is under arrest and four others are under investigation. President Cartes has fired his interior minister and a top police commander. He's now calling on Paraguay's political opponents to try and find common ground. My objective is to initiate a dialogue so we can create a set of priorities and then an agreement above the sectarian interest. We will invite everyone and hope everyone is willing to come. Any effort to reform the constitution to allow a president to stand more than once was always going to be controversial. Paraguay suffered the brutal dictatorship of Alfredo Kroessner, who was in power for over 30 years. And that's why people are extremely sensitive about the possibility of a re-election. They claim that there's a reason why a president can only be in power for five years. They say that any reform to the constitution should be through the legal channels and with popular support. The Senate vote is not the last word on the issue. The lower house has yet to decide on it. These protesters say they're staying put and continue to call for the president to be impeached. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Asunción.